Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to this uh, introductory course on artificial intelligence and data science. My name is Arun Rajkumar. I'm an assistant professor uh, affiliated with the Department of Data Science and Artificial Intelligence at IIT Madras. And I'm also a faculty in the online BS program of IIT Madras. So why are we doing this course specifically uh, targeted towards uh, school uh, going kids? Um, well, AI and DS, artificial intelligence and data science are becoming buzzwords these days. I'm sure all of you have heard about this and they have applications in almost all areas of science, uh, right from chemistry to economics to physics to whatnot, right? So it becomes important for um, school children uh, to skill themselves in this area. This is, you can think of this like the computer literacy of 2000s where everybody started learning about computers. Now this is the era of data science and uh, it would be interesting and important for everybody to know at least at an introductory level about data science and artificial intelligence. And the goal of this course is to precisely provide that introduction. So what does this course entail, right? So I'm gonna give you a brief overview of this course. Um, this course has a couple of modules, five major modules. In the first module, we'll talk about what is known as feature engineering. How do you extract interesting features from data that can be used for decision making? Uh, and in the second module, we'll talk a lot about different paradigms of learning, right? So what does it mean to learn and how can you learn effectively from data? What are the different types of learning? At a brief high level, we'll talk about that. Um, and in the third module, which is the interesting module, is when we'll actually talk about some algorithms, some techniques to actually learn from data. And in the fourth module, we'll talk about a little bit of advanced stuff, uh, which include sequential decision making. Instead of giving, instead of being given data in a batch, what if data comes one at a time? How can you make decisions in a sequence, right? So for example, let's say you're playing chess, and then if you want to write a computer program to play chess, how do you make decisions, right? So you make a decision as a program and then your opponent makes a decision and how do you adapt to these decisions so that you can make decisions over time, which is called the paradigm of sequential decision making and we'll talk a bit about that. And in the fifth and final module, we'll talk about some cutting edge ideas in machine learning, data science and AI, which include responsible AI, right? So what does it mean to say we have to develop AI or artificial intelligence algorithm that are responsible, right? So why does the notion of responsibility come into algorithms and how does it affect AI and data science is will, will be covered in the fifth module. So how does this course work? I mean, the course format is as follows. We'll have pre-recorded videos, which I will record, um, which will be available for viewing. Uh, there will also be exploratory activities, um, you know, for self-study and exploration. You'll also have a bunch of graded assignments. Um, you'll have demonstrations, tutorial activities, and uh, by week seven, this is an eight week course, and by week seven, you will have a project activity released. And um, we expect all of you to submit this activity so that, you know, you become eligible to take the final exam, which is a timed exam that can be taken anywhere. Let me talk now a bit about the course team. Of course, I will be recording the videos here um, for offline viewing. Um, but other than that, th there are several other important people who will make this course possible. Uh, some of them include um, the instructors for live sessions, um, including Anamika and Karthik, who will interact with you in a live fashion and clear your doubts and talk about some demonstrations and activities and so on. So what are some best practices for getting the best out of this course, right? So the first thing is that we expect you spend enough time in doing all the suggested activities of this course, be it graded assignments, be it exploratory activities, be it self-study activities. The more time you, you spend on this, the more you gain from this course, right? So it's not just, it's not that you will have to do this alone. You can form your own nice peer groups in your school and discuss these activities together so that you learn as a group and learn from each other. The third thing I would suggest is uh, it's good for you to try out all the snippets of codes that will be provided during the course, during the demonstration, and also uh, it'll be provided for offline um, viewing and uh, learning. Uh, so these codes will have some nice activities and so on and so forth. And I would suggest all of you to try these out uh, by yourself so that you can get the most out of this course. Overall, have a nice attitude of learning from this course. 
uh, as much as possible and I'm sure all of you will be able to do well in the final exam as well. So the goal of course as I said is to give an introduction to artificial intelligence and uh, data science um, so that eventually if you find this subject fascinating you will be able to make an informed choice about taking up a degree um, in artificial intelligence and data science. For instance, IIT Madras, um, we provide an online BS degree that many of you may be aware of uh, in data science, programming and data science, uh, which is a four-year degree. And uh, I would encourage you to look up that information as well. Uh, but this is not just for that degree. I mean, if you are interested in any degree which has an AI or DS flavor, um, now this course will serve as a very good introductory uh, platform for the same. I hope you will enjoy this course and uh, I once again welcome all of you to this course and uh, have a great journey. Thank you. Mm -hmm.